hello guys welcome back to my kitchen in today's occasion i want to show you how i make my sushi bowl my way of course um, there are many versions of making this but this is the easiest for me so these are the ingredients pictured here that you'll need but you will want to begin by adding in one tablespoon of rice vinegar into your pan go ahead and set that to medium high heat and add in your two cups of rinsed rice i did rinse mine out three times um, you'll want to do that until you get clear water and of course i sauteed that just for a little bit before incorporating three and three quarters cup of water of course aim to add in hot water or warm at the minimum but once you pour that in Go ahead and give it a little stir next go ahead and proceed by adding in half a teaspoon of salt give it a little stir and proceed by adding in a half a teaspoon of sugar go ahead and set the lid on the pan and allow to cook thoroughly for about 15 minutes and then of course the last couple minutes there you want to go ahead and just set it aside um, off of the heat on another note you want to go ahead and prepare your imitation crab i added in three tablespoons of the sriracha mayo already in the bottle and go ahead and stir in between Be sure to add salt and black pepper to your liking into the imitation crab, but I personally did add a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. So go ahead and give that a good mix. And finally, you want to go ahead and chop up your green onion, your cucumber, as well as the avocado. It is completely optional to add in the seaweed sheets as well and chop them up, but I'll be opting out of that and I'll use it next time for sushi. Now when cutting up my cucumber, I did cut off the ends and just rubbed the ends to extract the additional milky fluid. I do this anytime I'm incorporating cucumbers in any of my recipes, including aguachiles, ceviches, everything, so I would recommend that. But go ahead and just cut it down the middle and cut it down the line, or you can just dice up your cucumbers.
Please allow your rice to cool and chill. And now it's time to assemble your sushi bowl. Go ahead and incorporate your crab meat. If you choose to opt out of the crab meat, go ahead and add in shrimp if you want, or maybe the tempura shrimp, or whatever you would like. But this is how I made these today. So go ahead and add your cucumber, avocado, green onion, carrots, edamame. The edamame, you can choose to purchase it frozen or fresh. Of course, you can be as creative as you want when dressing up the sushi bowl. Um, the sesame seeds are optional to add on, of course. You can add in teriyaki sauce or soy sauce, sriracha mayo, sriracha on its own, or sweet and sour if you wanted to. I mean, definitely the favorite sauce of your choice, but dress it up to your liking and enjoy. I'm sure that you'll uh, like this bowl right at home and you can find other recipes listed within the channel here that i'm sure that you'll enjoy so having said that thank you very much for having been here if you haven't already feel free to subscribe to this growing youtube family and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future upcoming videos and with that being said guys i'll see you in the next one bye